how can we harness the power of technology to help underserved communities? How can we bridge the digital divide for people entering the economy? And how can we empower entrepreneurs to bring their most socially impactful ideas to life? And how can we empower entrepreneurs in underserved communities? In the world we live in today, it's essential for large organizations to adopt social impact strategies and to figure out how organizations can work together to bring collaborations to scale. In order to achieve this, we must look at the role of technology and how it plays in driving social impact and what social entrepreneurs can offer society at large. We'll hear from Andy Baldwin, Global Managing Partner, Client Service at EY, and Jean-Philippe Courtois, Executive Vice President and President, National Transformation Partnerships at Microsoft. And we'll hear from two social impact entrepreneurs, Elsie Wondera, CEO of Heroes for Change, and Sue In Lee, co-founder and CEO of Enuma Inc. Today, technology is playing such an incredible role in society. Whether that's technological skills, access to technology, access to technology expertise has now become an absolute necessity, not just for doing business, but also for society generally. If you think about it, 40% of the world's population does not have internet access. 96% of those who are living offline are living in emerging economies. And many people around the world today don't even have access to digital devices. This digital divide is actually going to accelerate and perpetuate social inequality unless we find ways to bridge that gap. At EY, at the core of our ambition is building a better working world. And many of these themes are really woven into the commitment of our own strategy. And I think it's when you look at the scale and size of the challenges we face, one organization or one government, frankly, doesn't have the resources, the breadth, the skills to be able to tackle that on its own. So the only way to really tackle that is by joining forces with other like-minded global organizations, taking concerted strategic action to put our collective influence, our skills and our resources to work with really the goal of creating a socially just and economically inclusive future for everyone. That is why Microsoft and EY are collaborating to improve access to digital learning and digital technologies to really support underserved communities. Our initiatives take the best of EY and Microsoft together. For example, EY is running EY Future Skills workshops in over 50 countries to get disadvantaged youth and those excluded from the workforce market ready by teaching them new subjects like design thinking, blockchain or sustainability. Increasingly, we see the importance of bringing up the digital expertise, the digital literacy and integrating that into the skills programs that we run, whether that's for children that we are looking to get into education or into the workforce, or the work that we are doing with many social impact entrepreneurs. Ultimately, this initiative supports the mission of both organisations to help the world work better and achieve more. Our EY Ripples program aims to impact over 1 billion lives by 2030, and this year alone we're on target to impact over 108 million lives. We couldn't possibly achieve such a target either this year or even by 2030 without really the collaboration across our ecosystem of business partners such as Microsoft. You know, at Microsoft we know that we'll do well as long as the world does well. Our mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. And as a company, we bring the best of our technology innovation, our people and ecosystem, to bring a responsible, sustainable, inclusive economy growth one country at a time. So as a result of this mission, we've decided to focus on four of the key UN SDG goals. It's about climate change, it's about quality education, it's about decent jobs and economic growth, and it's about justice, peace, and strong institutions. We're going to bring our very best as a company. You know, to us, digital divide is really an issue of digital equity. There are two core problems to that. One is access. We have 2.9 billion people on the planet who just don't have access to internet connectivity. So as a company, we've been building some technology using fixed wire networks, but also radio transmission to enable 42 million people in the US, in Asia and Africa to have access. The second issue is really about digital skills, getting the tech skills you need to have a job. And we've been enabling 42 million people on the planet 
by leveraging our Microsoft Learn platform, GitHub for developers, and also LinkedIn skills development to make sure we allow them to find a great job in the society. Social entrepreneurs are the real change makers in the world. So as a company, Microsoft, we decided to create an initiative called Entrepreneurship for Positive Impact, where we unleash their innovation to scale their social innovation impact. So we bring the best of our Microsoft Cloud technologies and AI with the coaching of our senior talents as well and open our ecosystem with our partners, including EY, so that we could do more together and achieve that increased social impact together. Heroes for Change is a social enterprise that was birthed from a place just to see young people in Kenya um, be ready for the employment market by upskilling them, by giving them an opportunity to deliver social impact programs in their communities. In Kenya, we have a very high youth unemployment rate and uh, Heroes for Change just seeks to provide the young people an opportunity to upskill um, them and just prepare them for um, the employment um, market. And one of the things that we have done is we've been able to build a tech platform that enables us to deliver end-to-end -end, um, social impact programs. This way, it ensures that young people from around the country, um, as long as they have a smartphone, they're able to participate in delivering social impact programs and transform their communities. And um, we ensure that as they do this, uh, that as we do this, none of the young people are left behind. Um, we recognize that there are a lot of young people who are out there who just want to participate in, in changing their community in one way or the other. And Heroes for Change provides that platform um, that just brings all the solutions that are out there um, from behavior change programs um, to making sure that you know, these young people have the opportunity um, to grow their skills, their soft skills, uh, and even unlock their purpose. So at the end of 2021, we had the opportunity of working with EY, who provided pro bono services um, to help us refine and, um, and strengthen our business model. It was just such a great um, gift, to, uh, especially as I was entering into this entrepreneurial space, um, to be able to effectively um, um, and efficiently utilize the resources that I have um, to be able to scale and deliver the program. Enuma is a mission-driven education technology software startup. Uh, we design a self-learning software that teach basic reading, writing, math to children around the world. When we say all children, we include children with special needs, children who are living in different culture and languages. We believe that the latest technology is enough, for, enough to support children to learn all by themselves with great support of all those game designs, videos, and, uh, and AI tools. My husband and I were both game developers before starting Enuma 10 years ago. We started Enuma inspired by our own child who were born with special needs. We wanted to bring all the technology and game design and all the fun from game industry to education field. Whatever you want to achieve in the world, you may need the best technology and business skills and fast learning, whatever that makes you successful in business world. I'm so excited to become part of Entrepreneurship for Positive Impact Accelerator. It will be really helpful to achieve our goal to provide quality education for all children in different languages and cultures. I think that this level of global collaboration is very valuable for small startups like us, which doesn't have good experience and network. And I just can't wait to learn how we can work together more and achieve even bigger dreams. As the presence of technology is growing ever stronger, bridging this digital divide has never been more crucial. 
Providing the skills and education needed to upskill communities around the globe is a critical step towards social equality and a better society. Communities and organizations, both large and small, can benefit from these practices because when one group thrives, we all thrive.